Hey everybody, it's so great to see you this week. First off, before we do anything else, I want to thank each and every one of you. Because last week, I asked a couple questions, and I told you guys to put the answers in the comment section of the last video. Now, we had a bunch of different comments go in, so I'm happy to say that we've, choos we've chosen some winners. So the first question that we asked was to have a name for our balloon penguin that we made. Because that's my number one rule whenever I make a balloon animal. It always has to have a name. So the first name that we got comes from Eliana. She's the one that won, and the name that she gave for the penguin was Precious. So we decided on the name Precious the Penguin. So Eliana, thank you for your comment. Now the second question that I asked was uh, to have a joke. Remember I said that we would have a, uh, a joke and I would feature it on this episode, and that's what we did. So this joke's uh, this week's joke comes from Levi. Now, Levi uh, asked the joke, or posted the joke, and I'm going to go ahead and ask the question now, and you guys are going to have the whole episode to try and figure out what it is. And then at the end of the episode, I'm going to tell you the answer. So here's the question. How come dinosaurs can't high-five? I don't know. If you want to find out, make sure to stay to the end of the video. You know, that reminds me, I have very, very special plans tonight. My wife and I have had this night set aside for probably over a month now. Tonight, we're going to have a super special dinner date. That's right, we're going to a very fancy restaurant. We're going to order the nicest food. We're going to dress up all fancy. It's going to be a really, really fun night. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'm going to send her a text message and tell her how excited I am. super excited for our date tonight and send <laughs> yeah I'm super super excited about this restaurant it's one of my favorite restaurants ever I think I'm probably gonna get the steak their steak is the best and I'm most likely gonna get it with a baked potato ah oh, it's gonna be so good oh I got a text message, that's probably her. Huh? That doesn't make any sense. So I, I texted her and I said that I was very, very excited to have our dinner date tonight. And she just sent back that she doesn't want to go. She says, I don't want to go. That's, that's, oh, that's rude, Levi. We've had this plan for over a month. I'm just, that really hurts my feelings. I've put a lot into this. I've, I've made sure I'm not working. I've made sure that the dinner reservations are there. We've, we've already talked about it and planned it. That's just, that's really upsetting. You know, I, I don't want to talk to her anymore. No, I'm, I'm not going to talk to her. Hold on, my phone's buzzing. She's trying to call. No, I'm not going to answer. I, I, I don't want to talk to her right now. She's really, really hurt my feelings. And I, I just don't want to talk to her. Why would she not want to go? And why would she just tell me now? Especially after I said I was very excited to go. That's just rude, and I don't like it. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not talking to her. No. Nope. No, I'm, I'm just not going to talk to her. You know what? I do want to talk to someone about it, though. I want to I wanna talk to someone, but I don't want to talk to her. So, actually, I've got an idea. Let's go to the kingdom. I bet if we go to the kingdom, I can... I can talk with them and, and let them know how upset I am. Maybe they can even help me a little bit. But I'm not talking to her. I'm not. She's trying to call again. But I'm not talking. No. All right. I'll see you guys at the kingdom. Hopefully they can help. Bye. Hey there, guys. It's good to see you again. Hey there. I'm sorry to say, though, this might not be the best time for a visit. 
Take me to Kira Dobby. Really, Bucky? You talked to him, but not to me? Oh, that's funny. I thought her from buzzing. Must have been nothing. Bucky, please. You are just being childish. Listen, if it's a bad time, I can go and come back later. Hey there, Meg. Do me a favor and tell Professor Dumb Dumb over there that I'm not talking to him. Bucky, calling people names is not nice at all. I, okay, he says that he's not talking to you. <laughs> Don't encourage him. He's, he's egregious behavior. Please tell Professor Noah all that even if I could understand what he was saying, I still would talk to him.
quick because I was able to get to the Bible app on my phone. Had to search for and just type a couple of words. Good to go. Well, you know, I think that just sells. You know, I'm, I'm going to go talk to you. I think that's a wonderful idea. Just from hearing about it, it sounds like a misunderstanding. Yeah, I agree. That really doesn't sound like her. You know, I, I really appreciate all you guys do. You know, you, you always seem to help me whenever I need it most, and I just really appreciate it. So I'm going to go talk to her, and I'll see you guys next week, okay? So long, and good luck! All right, thanks. <laughs> Why am I still here talking when I can eat the last piece of carrot cake? See you next time, guys! Bye. Everybody, we're back from the kingdom, and I'm happy to say that I took Professor Smart and Bucky's advice, and I decided to talk to Ashley. So it turns out they were right. It was all just a big misunderstanding. So when she texted me that she didn't want to go, it turns out it was just a typo, and her phone changed it. What she meant to say was she can't wait to go, which means she was just as excited as I was. So all of that was for nothing. You know, I got my feelings hurt, and I was mean and rude back to her for no reason at all. So I apologized, and she was so, so great, and she forgave me. So everything's great now, and tonight we're going to be going to our restaurant, and uh, we're going to have a great night. But now I'm, I wanted to talk about this lesson, and I actually have two different science experiments to help kind of talk about what we learned. So for the second experiment, you should go ahead and get everything ready now. The second experiment, you, I can't show you what it is. You kind of have to do it on your own. So try and get everything together that you need now. All you need is three bowls, some cold water, some room temperature water, and then some warm water. And you're going to put them in each of the different bowls. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and get that ready now, and we'll do our other experiment, and then we'll get to that one, because you really need to feel that one to see what's going on. So for the other experiment, we're going to go ahead and do it now. All you need is a glass, and a round glass works best, and we just fill it up with water. And we have a piece of paper with an arrow on it. And to be fair, you can put any, anything that you want on the paper. It doesn't really matter. But we're going to see something that's kind of cool. So remember with the situation where um, I thought that Ashley was saying one thing, but she was doing another, uh, and with Professor Smart and Bucky. It was all just a big misunderstanding. The point that I'm trying to make is people can kind of see things differently. It's, it doesn't always match up. So you kind of always have to think about that. You know, maybe it's different. Maybe they're thinking of something else that I'm thinking. So uh, we're going to bring the camera in a little bit, and we're going to kind of show this. So, you know, here's, here's our arrow. You know, the arrow can kind of be how, how we think, how we see things. So right now, this arrow is pointing left. And we can see that it points left. But if we move it behind the water, look at that. It changes direction. You know, when it's behind the water glass, the arrow points right changes. And you know, that could be how the other person's looking at it. Even though it's the same situation, different people look at different different people look at things differently. Now the water inverts the image, kind of like a mirror. If you've ever tried to write something in a mirror, so that's the same thing that the water does. So that's really cool. And now for our next experiment, we're going to go um, get our bowls of water. Remember, we need a cold room temperature and a hot. So I'll be right back with the water. Okay guys, I'm back and I've got the water for our second experiment. Remember, I told you we need cold water, room temperature water, and then warm water. Now it's important that you guys do this along with me at home because I can't show you anything kind of, it's not cool like last week's bubbles or, or anything like that. It's only something that you can feel. So I definitely suggest that you do it on your own. Now you're going to get a little wet, so make sure that if you have long sleeves that you want to roll them up because you don't want to get your clothes wet. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our hands, we're going to take our right hand, and we're going to put it in the cold water. And then we're going to take our left and put it in the warm water. 
we're going to hold it there for, I want to say a good 30 seconds, right? So I've got my hands in here. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the answer to Levi's joke. Remember earlier, Levi's joke was, uh, how come dinosaurs can't uh, clap each other's hands? Or, I'm sorry, high five. Why can't dinosaurs high five? The answer is because they all went extinct. There aren't dinosaurs around anymore, so how can they high five? <laughs> So that's the joke. Thanks, Levi, for submitting that in. Okay, now, my hand is right here is freezing. I, well, it was very, very cold. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. And now we're going to put both of them into the middle bowl at the same time. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's weird. This is such a weird feeling, guys. I hope you're doing this with me. Okay, so remember our lesson, how people can see things differently, like with the arrow? This is another way of explaining that. So our hand, our right hand, that was in the cold water was, all, was really, really cold. And our hand that was in the warm water, our left hand, was really warm. And now we put both of our hands in the same water in the middle. And that water is the same temperature. But because our hands was colder and hotter, this one makes your hands feel weird. So now my right hand feels really, really warm and my left hand feels really, really cool. And that's a different way of explaining what we learned today. So even though it's the same water, it makes us feel differently. So always remember with everything that goes on, there's always two different ways of looking at it. Well guys, unfortunately it's that time and I've got to go ahead and say goodbye, but I'm really glad that you've been with us today for this episode of The Kingdom. I really had a blast. Now remember, every week I've been asking you guys to comment something on the videos for kind of a contest or something. Um, so I'm going to do that again. Now next week is going to be very special because next week is Mother's Day. So here's our contest. You know how we've uh, already established that I'm pretty good at making balloon animals? Well, I'm going to have you guys comment on the video what you think I should make my mom for Mother's Day out of a twisty balloon. You guys can comment anything, and I'll choose one of the winners and present it to my mom as a Mother's Day present. And I'll even make sure to put the video in next week's episode so you get to see a reaction. So I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Enjoy your day.